When you deal with window or large IP security camera system, you probably need more than one level of network. You may need access, le access level switch at the front end, aggregation switch in the middle, and a code switch in the control room. The fiber optic cable is the great choice to connect all these switch together because it provides fast speed, low latency, and long distance network connectivity. This is the fiber optic switch. There's 24 1 gigabyte fiber optic slots and also 4 10 gigabyte fiber SLP plug fiber optic slot. This fiber optic switch provides 128 gigabyte switching capacity, which can deal with more than 200 IP cameras. So you see, there's no RJ45 port for the cobalt connection, but I have to connect the NVR to the switch. So here I use the fiber optic to cobalt adapter. It will provide me the RJ45 port for the NVR. So now what I need to do is insert this cobalt adapter to the fiber optic switch and I will use this punch code to connect the fiber optic switch to the recorder so once we plug in we can see the data indicator start flashing the rest of the SLP slot I will use to connect to our access level switch we still need to install this two fiber optic module before we can use with the fiber optic cable. So these two fiber optic module working in pair. One I will install to the aggregation switch. And now I, I need to go to the access level switch and install this fiber optic module to the access level switch. Right, I'm going to insert to the SLP slot. The last thing is the fiber optic cable. I don't want to deal with the connector in the field because it requires special tool and skill to make the fiber optic connector. So what I pick is the pre-terminal fiber optic cable. The connector is made pre-made in the factory and 100% test. What I need to do is just get this cable, plug and pay to make the fiber optic link. Right now I pick this A and B, I'm going to use the A to connect to our fiber optic slot. Now I need to move to the access level switch again. I will pass this fiber optic connector through the hose. Right, this is the waterproof plug to so fasten. Here also we choose the A to connect the SLP module. Alright, you may see I just using single fiber optic cable to connect the fiber optic link because this is the bi-directional fiber optic module which employ the different wavelength to transmit and receive the signal. So it's safe one fiber optic cable which can be used for backup or future system expanding. Now the camera has been connecting to the access level POE switch. The camera is getting both power and data from the switch. It's the power over internet technology. So I can use a single internet cable to connect both power and data to the camera. Actually, you can see the camera is live. Now let me just get the 
large image. This is the whole system. If I want to add more camera, what I need to do is just add the extra access level switch in the field and connect to the new cameras. Also, the pre terminal cable linking from the access level switch to the aggregation switch. At the center, if I have more than 64 channel IP camera, I may need add one more recorder. Alright, that's all. Thanks for watching. If you have any question about the system, please leave a comment below.